You can often determine that a radiant element is burned out by simply checking to see if the element has burn spots or breaks in the coil itself. But since you can't always tell by looking, it's best to perform a continuity test. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the element. If the element has continuity, it should be functioning properly. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the element is burned out. Radiant elements come in many sizes, but all of them can be tested for continuity in the same way. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin, make sure the element you're testing has been removed or isolated from the appliance. Be aware that radiant elements have a limiter that monitors the cooktop surface temperature. To test the element itself for continuity, you should use the meter probes to touch the coil terminals only. If the meter reading shows a result between 0 and 120 ohms of resistance, the element has continuity. If the meter's needle does not move, or the digital display does not change significantly, then there is no continuity, which means the element is burned out and will need to be replaced. If your stovetop has a dual coil radiant element, you can use the multimeter to test the inner coil, the outer coil, or both to determine if the element has continuity.